What's up? Some good basketball last night, wasn't it? You saw that double overtime game with Sienna and Ohio State, or the, the the single overtime game, and it was it was good stuff. And my bracket, thank you, Power Rangers. Thank you, Power Rangers. Told me to keep my head up. Yesterday wasn't too bad. Um, I missed the two five twelves and that one uh, four thirteen, which everybody missed. I mean, nobody had weight going, and. Um, so I missed those, but everybody did that. I missed the 8-9 with Tennessee and Oklahoma State. And um, I'm not worried about 8-9s because they never pass, you know, into the Sweet 16 because they have to go up against number one if they uh, if they win. So losing the 8-9 game doesn't bother me at all. Uh, let's see, what else happened? Pittsburgh, man. I was watching the East Tennessee State, and they was just in Pittsburgh's behind there for a while. But uh, uh, Pittsburgh... Definitely has the beef down low, and that's going to be a key for them. They may not play good like they did yesterday, but then when it gets crunch time, they just put their big down low and and, and, and grind. So uh, I'm still kind of high on Pittsburgh, even though they looked <laughs> not so good yesterday. I picked them Dayton Flyers. Told you about that. I told you Dayton's got a good defense, and they held them to 60 points. So I told you about that. That's another thing that, that picked me up. Um, Arizona, that blew my mind. I didn't think that was going to happen. Uh, I told you guys about USC. I said they're very athletic and they're hot right now. So you, USC is probably the, the one of the major buzzes of the tournament. So, hey, watch out there. And Adam, Adam, we got Sienna. They got Sienna. So I'm, I'm cool yesterday. Um, the Cleveland State of Wake Forest, it was, I was uh, tripping because um, uh, there's a... A video on here of Rick Patino actually predicting Cleveland State to beat Wake Forest, and this just get, blows my mind on how much these coaches know. So, if you look at, um, I'm, I'm gonna post it at the end of this this video, but there's gonna be some links to a playlist. Hit the playlist for the uh, games on the 20th, and uh, I don't know the games on the 19th, and I'll put Rick Patino's uh, uh, prediction in there of. Um, of uh, Cleveland State beating Wake Forest. That was awesome. Uh, Wisconsin over Florida State. I missed that, but hey, uh, Florida State wasn't going to go too far. Well, I had him in the Sweet 16, didn't I? Dang it, ACC killed me. Clemson, Florida State, kill me. Kill me. Being a homer. Being a homer kills you. All right. Unless you, this year, unless you with the uh, Big 12, they're getting really lucky. All right, man. Uh, good games today. Wait a minute. Hold on. Who, who got good to get today? Before I let you go, uh, that UCLA Villanova game, I got Villanova all the way. Uh, Maryland and Memphis, uh, Maryland's gonna push Memphis, but uh, I don't see uh, them beating them. Uh, Connecticut over Texas AM, they're gonna have to coach back. Uh, Washington's gonna beat Purdue, watch it, and it's gonna be Washington versus Connecticut. Um, North Carolina will handle that. LSU, uh, Michigan, and Oklahoma. I'm gonna watch that game because I don't think Oklahoma can go that deep in the tournament. Uh, I just don't like their team. I don't know why. Uh, Gonzaga, West Kentucky should be easier one. Maybe I won't. I'm gonna watch that one too. And Duke versus Texas. Uh, I know all you Texas people be, will be watching that, but I gotta go ACC baby all the way. All right. Um, I'll let y'all later. Some good basketball today. Peace out.